Today we're going to be taking a look at the Optronix Oblong Trailer Clearance and Side Marker Light with Reflector. Offering the amber lens and black base, part number is MC31AB. And here you can see our light installed. You'll notice it has a black base on it. Most of the lights kind of in this size category are going to have a white base. So it can add a pretty nice look to your trailer if you have a trailer that's maybe a black or a red, gray, something like that, and you don't want a standard looking light on it. It offers a single incandescent bulb, and it also offers the reflectorized lens, which you can see here. Basically, that stands in place of a separate reflector, so it's DOT compliant as far as not needing a separate reflector anywhere. And when the lights are off, if you were to hit it with your headlights, it lights up, so you'll be able to see where your trailer is located. Now, incandescent bulbs such as this has kind of been the industry standard. You see it on just about every type of trailer out there. And if you're just replacing one light, I'd find one that matches and go back with that. But if you're changing the lights on your trailer, a lot of people are going over to LEDs basically because they're much easier to use. You don't have to worry about changing the bulb out. They last many times longer. Also, they give you kind of a cleaner and brighter light. It can really update the look of the trailer. And as an added benefit, they don't draw as much power. So we don't have to worry about that element heating up in there. We don't have to worry about drawing all that power through our vehicle. The light is SAE and DOT compliant, so it's going to work for all of your needs, whether you're mounting it kind of like we have up here as a clearance light, or if you have it down as a side marker light. Now this light's designed with three inch centers for the mounting location, so that's going to match up with all the standard oval shaped clearance lights out there, so it should be a very easy replacement for you. Another nice thing about the light is, like with most of them, this lens is replaceable. So if for some reason a rock hits it or it gets damaged, instead of replacing the entire base and lens, you can just replace the lens. Now to begin your installation, of course you want your old light removed. We're going to take our base here. You can see we've got a single wire coming off. That's what they call it. It's like a single wire design. Now most applications, just strip that off. In most applications, this is designed to work with a metal base. You're going to be attaching it to metal. When we have fiberglass like this, we can't get a good ground made through there. So we'll show you how this will also work with a two-wire setup. So whether you've got one or two wires, this should work out fine for you. Now for the one-wire guys, you're just going to strip back your power lead wire. And we're going to use a butt connector to make our connection there. Part number DW05744 if you don't have them. This is a heat shrink butt connector. This does an excellent job of keeping any moisture or dirt from getting in there leading to corrosion. We get that crimp down on. And then the other side will crimp to our light. And then at that point with a single wire you're ready to mount it. You can see that metal tab right there. That's what establishes your ground as you put your fastener through. With our setup, since we are doing a two wire, we're going to bring our ground wire through, strip it back, and we're going to add a ring terminal to that. Just a small diameter opening there. Going to get it crimped down. Now to shrink this down, you'll want to use a heat source. You can use a mini torch. You can use a heat gun or a lighter. You just need to be careful not to overheat it. Just gently heat it up and allow it to shrink. When it does shrink, it's going to look like the wire gets larger, almost as if it's magnifying it. So kind of where it's starting to do it there. Just take that out to the end. Then you'll have a little bit of clear gel that'll kind of come out. So I'm going to do that on both sides of your connector there. So it looks just like that. Now we'll just want to re-secure it with our existing hardware. When we do this side, we want to ensure that our ring terminal is placed over that ground strip right there. Now with those secure, just going to place our lens over the top and press down firmly. Get it clicked in place. Now to test out our light, you can simply connect your trailer to your truck, turn on the running lights, or use a trailer tester like what we're doing and it seems to be working just fine. And that's going to complete our look at the Optronics Oblong Trailer Clearance and Side Marker Light with Reflector, part number MC31AB.